The city is saved. What about the keep? I still can't go back. Layer of the Mother. Deep within the hills that border the Faravel, Faravel Plains is an ancient graveyard where dragons once came to die. A younger generation of the winged beasts has turned the region dangerous yet again. We had a bow called Dragon Spite before that had like plus 10 damage against dragons, but I don't have it, and Nate doesn't have it. What the hell? I found something under my bed at the keep. Something tells me it's yours. Miss Maggie. I remember her. She's not mine. She belonged to my sister, Delilah. Miss Maggie was her favorite doll. Miss Maggie appears to be missing her arms. Delilah and I had a fight. Then I ripped off Maggie's arms and hid them in places where Delilah would find them later. What a sweetheart you were. That's terrible. And not now, guys. <laughs> really not now. We gotta go kill some mothers and... Well, they mentioned the father before, so I wonder if that was supposed to be the architect or what. Massacre. Big swing. Wait, well, they're killing each other! Yeah, the disciple is the architect people, right? And then the childer is something else. Damn. Should have killed the childer first. Because the disciple was helping me. You guys are always so far away. Are you even helping? You better be. Okay. Belana, I know you've got a whole bunch of stuff going on. I don't have enough stamina or mana for all this. Life ward. Dragon bone wastes. It is begun. Are these dragon bones already? Mm, this is where they regularly are. The mother's lair. I guess we didn't know about this place before. Because only the architect did. Someone else being overwhelmed? Stunning didn't help. The spider was a childer for a second. Very well. You good, Nate? Hang in there, everyone. What? Fade Walker. Really high, higher armor. Who's here? Genlock. Range Genlocks. Okay, they're sort of fighting each other. feel like we should be getting the Emissary first, but the Emissary and the Armored Ogre, are they doing their own thing? Oh, there's another Emissary here. Okay, now we go help out or whatever. Excuse me, dude! Oh my gosh. Alana, you've got to get the Emissary if you can. Ready. I didn't give her much support spells. Oh. Ah. I don't think that worked. Flame Blast, no. Inferno, that far away? I think it's petrified, though. I'm tired of this. Whoa! That's a crazy spell. That got exactly one guy. <laughs> Still better than nothing. Very well. if we must fight, oh. Come on. Well, the infernal stays, just like the blizzard. Oh, Nate, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Damn, that's so scary. How long does it last for? Wow. If we do a big spell like that, we just can't walk in. We just gotta wait for it to um, finish up. That's all we can do. Note. Drake's Fall. Legends speak of a place where dragons go to die. In the far south, in the lands of the barbarian tribes, it is said that a dragon at the end of her days lies down and allows a bitter cold to take her. It's not just a legend. I have seen Drake's Fall with my own eyes, the ancient bones of these grand beasts piled atop one another. I felt the power that suffused this place and knew the Imperium would claim it. We built a city on the bones. We delved deep into the earth, collecting what remained of the primordial dragons who were so like our old gods. With these bones, we created staves for our magisters, armor for our warriors, and crowns for our archons. Oh, that's why one grade of armor is called dragon bone, right? We fashioned phylacteries to hold our blood and sarcophagi to hold our bodies and prayed they would make us immortal. From Arkan Melos. It must have been written a long time ago. The architect's people are here too. The dark spawn have sensed us. Yeah, they're fighting. As you say. Oh! Oh! My god! My god! Is that really my problem? Should it be my problem? Wait, the dragon is on their side? Guess we should get the little guys first. Everyone's stunned. Dude, everyone's stunned. Are you guys alright? No, you're not. Everyone's stunned. Can we get the little dudes first? They're actually affecting our efficiency by quite a bit. No, sometimes the childers are killing the dragon too. They're not good at it. Uh oh. Nate's gone. Nate's gone. Revival has already been used somehow. As you wish. I don't know when. Okay, we've got to hang in here for now then. As you wish. Back very well. I want to say now is a good time for some big spell like Inferno, but I really don't want to mess up like we did earlier. Yo. Sigrun. Oh, you know what? You want to try out some of Dorkin's safe explosives? Poison making. Can you do it? Don't hit me. Thought you were gonna use it. Oh god! I'm not sure if that was good. <laughs> I will not fail. You are you out of mana? You're not, you're just stunned. The revival spell's gonna take a while. Yo, Wellens is dead. Wellens is dead. Pretty much. Oh, are you not gonna? You're somehow alive. Hanging in there, barely. Now see, Grun is almost dead. It's dying, though. It's dying. Uh, I can't tell if your mana is out. Oh, I guess your mana is out. It didn't look like it was. Give a life for to Sigrun or something. Okay, Sigrun's gone. Sigrun is also gone. That's really not good. As you wish. 
Hang in there. Vengeance! Ah! I shall do it. My attack is so slow. Oh! Hey, there's my dragon killing animation that I gave to Alistair in the base game. Oh. Yikes, guys. Sorry about not paying enough attention to you. Here you go, some bandages. You doing good? Got another point for what? I don't know. Onslaught. Advances several times, sweeping the weapon in five huge arcs. Maybe it's better if I just remove my old skills entirely and start focusing on the new ones, because this whole row... Clearly, I didn't drag it far enough. Like, <laughs> it's full again. Black blade... Boots and gloves. Oh, I don't have the tunic. I had the tunic before. Do you guys want to wear it? Fire resistance. Would have been good to have before the dragon. No, but the plus 50 mana stamina is so good. Might be better for Sigrun though, let's see. Oh, but she can't... Yeah, I don't know, that's pretty good too. Hmm. Okay, we'll leave it at that for now. Hi, dragon. That just randomly showed up or what? No, it's probably because this place is dragon related. Crystals of the Imperium. You found a mysterious crystal in the Tevinter ruins of Drake's Fall. It may have some use. When? Just now? Mysterious crystal? Oh! Oh, Sarani! I'm glad to see that you are well, sister. Oh, Sarani. Oh, thank Mythal you're still alive. What has the Architect done to you? Why are you with him? The Architect is kind to me and tender, and he has told me his plan. The Darkspawn are just like us. The Architect has freed them, and they search for a place in this world, just like the Dalish are searching. Everything he's done, he's done to help his people. You can respect that, can't you, sister? He's doing it by killing us? Because that's what it looks like. Vilana, tell me you don't buy this. Sorani, they killed our friends and so many others. Don't you remember? I do. And this is why I must help them. They are like children come into the world with no understanding of what is good and fair. They have a bestial nature, but I've seen them overcome it. They just need to be shown how. I don't want to rule out immediately that this is impossible, because they're talking, and these tainted people... I'm not sure what their official status is yet. Are they true darkspawn, or are they just humans that are tainted, or what? So I'll, I'll leave things open for myself. Then come with us, so that you can tell others. No, I have work to do. The Architect is waiting for me, and for you. He will explain everything. You will see, as I have seen. No! Don't go! This Serrani and Eartha are both, like, really, really loyal. Serrani reappeared as the Grey Wardens were making their way through the Mother's Lair, and explained how the Architect has convinced her of similarities between the Darkspawn and the Dalish. Sarani's passion may have swayed Valana's feelings. Oh, are you serious? Seneschal Vero. What? Seneschal Vero was killed in the second Darkspawn assault on Vigil's Keep. Oh my. Are you serious? 
Is this for real? I'm just gonna keep going for now, okay? Like, what? Are you. Oh my god. Okay, let's keep going for now. Let's keep going. Oh my goodness. I think I can help with that. Yes. I don't know what to think. Oh, there's the crystal. Gave me the quest before we even found the crystal. Did we have to go back then if we wanted people to survive? All of them died? Oh no. Oh no. I'm too frightened to even keep thinking right now. I'm just gonna... <sighs> Everybody died? But Amaranthine! Like, those were people who really needed our help versus the Grey Wardens. Those are people who died in battle. Like, their job of the Grey Wardens is to protect the citizens. You know, that's why the Grey Wardens, us, we were in Amaranthine. Oh dear. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Just make sure everyone's healed up, if we can do that. No, 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 no! Help out! Oh, did I do that? Never a dull moment. We have done well. Thank you. Thank you. We're good. Oh, there's more stuff there. They're attacking each other, though. Wait, flesh pods? Destroy them. Crystals? You still want to do quests at a time like this? Will of the unyielding. Oh. What am I doing? It shall be done. Okay, I need to find another one. Is that a good thing? Uh Tower of Trauma. This long dormant Deventer artifact is capable of stunning all creatures in an area. Extra help? Architect's Pyre. Now an ally. Can summon a powerful inferno to scourge a targeted area. Friendly fire possible. Tower of healing. Heal. Tower of flame. This ancient Devinter move monument, now reactivated, can blast a single target with fire. Okay. The thing appeared, but I don't see any... There's no charges for it. Oh, there's one charge for the tower of flame. So this is basically architect versus mother then. you say let's go let's go are they still fighting each other or are you waiting for me now's not time to admire this Nate Someone behind us? You guys okay? We should get the children first. They're more annoying. Oh! This guy got him. Look! We're just reaping the benefits of them fighting each other. Alpha was like... completely dead already. It shall be done. It is begun. Okay. More socket stuff? Did I get to use my powers in that battle just now? I didn't actually... Look at it.
And so we meet again. No, Uther. That is not how this must begin. I owe you an apology, Commander. When last we met, I intended to explain myself. Fate, however, intervened. You mean you knocked me out on purpose? I escaped, you mean? I restrained you, only to prevent the misunderstanding that occurred with the rest of your order. A misunderstanding? Did you not attack the Grey Wardens? I sent the Withered to ask for the Grey Wardens' help. I should have anticipated that you might view our approach as an attack. I am rarely able to judge how your kind will react. It was most unfortunate. That sounds like bullcrap. I didn't see how the attack on Vigil's Keep happened, but you didn't come... If you wanted to come in a peaceful way, there are lots of... You can just come and, you know, be not armed and immediately start talking and all that, right? But you clearly came with a whole bunch of people, and then you killed a bunch of us. You killed all of us, actually. Unfortunate? You took those men and bled them dry. The Grey Wardens that were brought to me were already dead. I took their blood just as I took yours, because I had little choice. Things have not gone as I planned. I only ask that you hear me out. Should you still wish to slay me afterwards, you may try. Confident, huh? Try? I can't kill you? I wonder if he himself was the subject of some kind of experiment, because now we know that behind the eye mask, it's some weird messed up eye stuff. And his... Does he have a lip ring or... Oh my god, what is going on with him? Is he human? Was he human? Because he does look remarkably different. Fine, I will hear you out. My kind has ever been driven to seek out the old gods. This is our nature. When we find one, a blight is begun. Each time we attack your surface lands and you fight back until we are defeated. To break the cycle, my brethren must be freed of their compulsion. For that, I need Grey Warden blood. That's insane because Grey Wardens are made using Darkspawn blood. What? Why do you need Wardens' blood? In order to become what you are, you drink the blood of my kind. To transform. You know. Similarly, we must transform. I have created a version of your joining that uses the blood of Grey Wardens. You take the taint into yourself. What we take is your resistance. That is how my brethren are freed. In your blood lies the key to their immunity against the call of the old gods. What? How do the Darkspawn change afterwards? Once they are freed, the Darkspawn think for themselves. They speak. They act. Some, however, have reacted poorly. They are flawed and they rage against me. The Mother gathers them to stop me, as she seeks to stop you. I cannot defeat the Mother alone, and I cannot free the Darkspawn unless she is defeated. Our goals are the same. This reeks of stupid. The last thing we need is more Darkspawn thinking for themselves. Darkspawn or no, he has a good point. Do we really want to keep killing each other forever? This is what my sister saw. An ally amongst the Darkspawn. This is an opportunity we cannot pass up. Help me kill the Mother. And after it is done, I will leave to continue my work. Volana has been completely convinced by her sister in that one conversation already. No, I need to hear more, okay? I need to hear more. Why does the Mother not want the Darkspawn to be free? What is his mother exactly? My most flawed creation. Freedom drove her mad, and she has poisoned the minds of the others. She has influence with the ones who have not been freed, and she gathers them as an army. 
I do not seek to rule, my brethren. I only seek to release them from their chains. How did you become freed? I was born as I am, an outsider amongst my kind. Why? I do not know. Why do some of your kind become Grey Wardens? Why do some possess magic? I have no answers. Some kind of a weird mutation? I can buy that, because we know that he has weird eyes and stuff. Perhaps the other Darkspawn don't want to be free. And how would they know when the choice has been deprived of them? Without choice, there is only one path before them and that leads to the Blight. I believe there is another way. Stealing blood from Wardens is perverse. I thought it little different from your order's use of Darkspawn blood. Agreed. We both do what we must in response to the Blight. The first blood came from Uther, freely given. She was a Grey Warden. That's what he meant before. She was a Grey Warden, oh. as you are, and joined us many years ago. Wow, this is... This is a revelation? Where were you during the Blight? Where were you? I'm interested to hear more, definitely. So, okay, at least for now, very well. You have an ally. This is the right thing to do. Sarani believed it, and I do too. No! I don't know about that. No! This is a monster! I can't let you do this! I understand why Sigrun is like this, though, because her entire life, especially as part of the Legion of the Dead, she's been fighting Darkspawn. And now you're telling her, hey, we're not gonna fight them anymore, we're gonna ally with them. That's hard to stomach. I don't like how Vilana... I don't like absolutes, okay? And she's like, this is the right thing to do. No, this is just the thing that we decided to do. We don't know if it's the right thing or the wrong thing, okay? I don't, I don't like empirical statements like that. Don't you want to stop the Blights once and for all? I do, but... Uh, I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Commander. I realize what a leap of faith this is for you. I hope that I prove worthy of your trust. The mother lies ahead, Warden. I cannot approach her physically. Her children protect her from my power. But when you reach her, I will do whatever I can to help you. You have my promise. Secret minus ten. Reasonable, to be honest. But Velana is... She's too quick to switch sides. I am a little bit reserved about her. Your mutual enemy awaits deep in her lair. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... If this really... Could this really be the solution, though? Because this sounds like something that could end everything. We wouldn't have to wait for stuff like, Oh, we gotta kill the seventh old god. Or whatever bullcrap. And that just seems well. insane. Okay, we got... Got a few more now. We just gotta keep going. What a... I don't even know what to say it though, if that's really true. To kill the Darkspawn, we drink their blood. For the Darkspawn to stop killing us, they drink our blood? Insanity. That's good. Even the hatchlings have alphas. Well, there's suddenly so many of these ogres. So what's the mother even trying to do then? Like, it's not very clear to me. She just doesn't... Is she fully sentient? Whenever we saw cutscenes of her, it didn't seem like she was really that fully in control. She was always just rambling on about this and that. Oh, I want to do a bigger thing, but... Maybe not like this. You gonna be okay, Wellens? Sorry, Wellens. 
Wow, she's somehow not on fire! I don't know how that worked, but it did! You've gotta help Nate! Come on, come on, we gotta go! Get him, get him, get him! We have done well. Oh, now he does ghost. To need some help. You're good. We got you, Nate. But I don't understand, like, if does do all the dark spawn? Mmm. I guess not many of them are sentient yet. And the non-sentient ones, the non-talking ones, they're still attacking us. But even the sentient ones aren't doing a particularly good job of not killing us. It is begun. Even the first time, the, the withered. He just made it sound like they wanted to grab a Grey Warden dead or alive. Not that they needed us. Oh dear. Oh dear. Scatter shot would be good here. What needs killing? Too late. I'm on. Show them no Come on, come on, get him. I'm sorry, Sigrun. Keep trying to get you because you're small. They try to get me too. These little buggers love grabbing onto people. Just gonna hang back for a sec here. You know what, Nate? Your spider needs to come back out. I'll tank him. Heretic Disciple! What does that mean? What does that mean in this context? Heretic? We have that circular onslaught. Five swings. Killed it in four. Fantastic. Very well. Oh god. Get him, get him. Eartha, I wish we were more well learned about the Grey Warden records. If we had talked to someone like the Seneschal, maybe he would have known that Eartha was a Grey Warden. Because before he was talking, he was saying like, oh, uh, your people or something when he was talking to Eartha. I and I thought he meant like Legion of the Dead or Dwarves, but never did I think he meant Grey Warden. Is she still... I I can help with that. She seems... I mean, she doesn't look good, but she... She seems sentient enough. Very well. Okay, now we got all four, I think. By fitting crystals into sockets in the ruins, you have reactivated three Devinder relics that may aid you against the mother. Oh, just for the final fight. Okay, let's get the bear out. Your wish is my command. Greece. Oh, she's right here! My god! Whoa, what the hell? This place upside down? Hi. Now the pieces fall into place. The Grey Warden comes, the instrument of the Father. 
Oh, and the father, he is but a shadow. Oh, how my children protect me. How they love me. I have told you many times, mother. I am not the father. I am simply the architect. It does not change what you are! You took away that beautiful music. Left us with nothing. It was a mistake to free you. It has left you with madness. I am truly sorry. Why can't he come here again? The mother wants the Dark Spawn to remain as thralls to the whole blight cycle, I guess. In her madness or consciously, I'm not sure. This conversation's kind of confusing because when the mother says father, she really means her father, the person who created her. The architect also calls the mother the mother, not because she's his mother, but because she's known as a mother to her children. So actually, this is like, it's a father and a daughter, really, but it's called the father and a mother. Yeah, the mother's pretty disgusting, but not appropriate at a time like this. Hmm. I don't know if I trust the architect. That might be too strong of a word. Okay, even if she were not mad, the mother would still be disgusting. <laughs> ah, but perhaps the warden would like to hear how it was that the father began the blight. Oh? You want the source of the archdemon? The one who brought all our kind to the surface? Here he is! We should never have trusted any Darkspawn. Ah, there it is then. Unfortunate. I did find the old god, Athemiel, but I did not wish another blight. I attempted my joining ritual. My hope was that this would free all Darkspawn, unravel the curse from its source. Alas, I was unlucky. I don't think this is too surprising. Somebody made a grave mistake and now they spend their entire life trying to fix it. Sure. But you didn't tell me about it. But it was hard for you to tell me about it in that situation, I understand, because I probably wouldn't have trusted you if you had said everything. Do you even think about the repercussions of your actions? Is it not the way of the Grey Wardens to do what must be done in the name of combating the Blight? The Blight is a menace. Both for your people and for mine. To end it requires sacrifice and risk. And how lonely the father was. How terrible to be the outcast, the outsider. He claims he wishes the Darkspawn to be free, but what he truly wants is to correct them. However you feel about what I have done, the mother is mad. She cannot be allowed to... Be gone, Shadow! You cannot harm the Mother any more than you already have. And now the hero is alone. Oh, the Mother knows your ways. You will not let her be, no. Not after what she's done. So it must end. It all must come crashing down! Ooh! Little tentacles. Perhaps we will hear the song again when we die. Oh, let it come. Let it come. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Special abilities. We can call on the Tevinter stuff. Okay. Yeah, no matter what we feel about the whole architect situation, we have to kill the mother. That's true. <sighs> brood mother fights again. I hate the brood mother. I hate the brood mother. Can we just ignore it? Friendly fire possible. Let's go in first. That's a lot of giant tentacles. You guys should come in closer too. I don't like you guys being far away. Slam. Rage. Hey, people are doing attacks over there. Stunning all creatures in an area. Hold off on that for now, maybe. Powerful Inferno. Uh, I clicked on it, but where are you gonna cast the Inferno stuff? Vengeance! You better not cast it right on me. I swear. Oh, you're already out of mana, my god. 
This might be bad. Oh, jeez, dude. He cast it right on us. Smart. Incredibly smart. Oh, dear. Okay, dude, that was so dumb. He's basically killing us. When would we ever get to use this spell then? This is such a dumb spell. <laughs> I've killed myself more than anything else. Sigurd? I need you to heal. Oh my god, I'm just spending time trying to keep my own health up. Immune to magic? What did that happen? Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> this is why I don't like AoE spells. Yeah, this ain't- this ain't going well. You have drained life, don't you? Curse of mortality. Give a life ward to your... secret. Okay, you can heal her. Let's make this quick. You've gotta go too. Dude, seriously, I'm just spending time chugging potions because I can't do anything right now. The storm won't go away. There we go, finally. Nate has a tentacle right on him. He is dead. He is dead. I didn't even see what happened. That... We... I guess we want to get the tentacles first. Okay. I'm trying my best to keep you all healed. I hope the AI is doing good stuff here. How's the bear doing? The bear is gone because Nate went down. Okay. Dude! Nate burst. Good, I suppose. Very well. Get some of them, at least. There's way too many just here right now. Oh my gosh. Need some bigger AoE spells that don't kill everybody. Do you have time for the spider? We might not. Yeah, this is a disaster! This is a disaster, and the, the spider is... I don't have Mind Blast or anything. We need to do, like, Inferno, but not here. Like, further out, because nobody... Yeah, we shouldn't be that far out anyway. I think that might actually be one of the spells we can do. There are so many children! My god! Where am I? Where am I? I'm here. I'm being... I'm being crushed. I can't even zoom back in because there's too much to look at. Those children are like... Hell on Earth! Get rid of some of the small ones if we can. Is everyone all right? I can't believe it, but we're somehow hanging in here. Okay, okay, good, good. They're all gone. Now we can focus. Pathetic. Somewhat. Nate, while you're free, get the spider here.
Yes, yes, yes. Into the Massacre. Oh no, they're coming again. They're coming again. Of course. Sigrin, can I task you to get rid of these dudes? Keep you healed up or something? Oh, it's almost dead though. If we can get it, get the problem at the source. This might be the easier way to do this. Oh, we didn't get it to stop the lightning. Come on, come on, we're so close. Oh! Wow, that battle was a complete disaster! <laughs> Brood mother fights are always the worst. Now the architect. Oh! Oh, that's it? After the death of the mother, the remaining darkspawn forces scattered and fled back into the deep roads. The raids on Amaranthine came to an abrupt end. The architect apparently kept his word, gathering his remaining disciples to follow the rest of their kind back underground. Those Grey Wardens and other nations were appalled to hear of the architect's continued existence, but were unable to track him down despite years of effort. Running away? If you wanted to work together... I guess we're back to step one again with the whole blight business. We have a method already though. Drinking Grey Warden blood, but if drinking Grey Warden blood is what made the mother, then obviously his methods aren't that perfected yet. Some within the Order have claimed that the Architect's survival guarantees another blight, and yet the Deep Roads have lately been quieter than any can recall. Most have resignedly decided that it is now in the Maker's hands. Word of the Grey Wardens' heroic salvation of Amaranthine spread like wildfire. When the magnitude of the losses at Vigil's Keep came to light, sympathy drove generous donations from all over Ferelden into the recent coffers. Amaranthine was restored to her former glory within a year, Vigil's Keep in five. Because of the Wardens' support for law and order in Amaranthine, Constable Aiden and his men were able to distribute the smugglers' goods to the battered survivors in the grueling days that followed the Darkspawn defeat. The Darkspawn messenger, set free after joining the Wardens in the Battle of Amaranthine, struck out on his own. The city soon buzzed with stories of a cloaked but lisping figure who aided travelers in danger. At the same time, reports of isolated cases of the Darkspawn disease emerged. No one connected the two. Oh. You're not gonna go back to the Architect? No? Wait, what about my people? The war devastated the farmholds of the Arling, but the land survived. In time, opportunity would attract settlers from other regions, as always. Vigils keep stood alone against a horde of Darkspawn. The Mother's forces outnumber the Vigils' defenders many times over. But the sturdy dwarven walls proved impervious to any boulder an ogre could throw. The vigil soldiers, clad in silver right, each felled a dozen darkspawn before they died. The vigil held one night, then two, then a week, then eventually, the attacking horde broke upon her walls. The keep developed an almost mythic reputation, the few survivors immortalized in song and legend. A week? Is that how long the battle lasts for? Peace allowed the Wardens to replenish their numbers. Soon, Vigil's Keep bore a capable army with Wardens at its core. From their ranks emerged new heroes to challenge threats to Amaranthine and all of Ferelden. Through taxes and levies, the Vigil was rebuilt. And people donating. Years later, Voldric Glavanak, 
stood on the battlements and pronounced that the defenses were acceptable. He would never speak more highly of any human engineering. Dark whispers of conspiracy against the wardens fell silent after a rash of accidents and disappearances culminated in the apparent suicide of Ban Esmeral. What? Apparent suicide? The nobles of Amaranthine remained dutiful. Some even suggest they were cowed into submission. Ban Esmeral was the... The lady who doesn't play nice, but we shouldn't overlook her, right? The lady who I decided to help in favor of the, um, the one who was my father's friend? Among the many legends that the Vigil spawned was one of the great heroes of the next age, a sheep herder turned soldier by the name of Sir Alec the Valiant, the guy we saw, who eventually founded an order of knights that lasted a thousand years. Oh. The commander's blade, Vigilance, crafted from the bones of an ancient dragon, was boldly stolen by Antivan crows. What? The blade changed hands many times thereafter, with some master swordsmen pursuing the weapon their entire lives. Some claim that this legendary blade has had a life of its own, and that its power is steadily growing. What do you mean, stolen? I had it, right? Are you saying that this is like happening long after I died, or what? Dworkin Glavinak further refined his Lyrium Sand explosives, but left the Wardens' his employ after Kunari mercenaries tried to assassinate him. Although the Dwarven bombardier took his secrets with him, the learns say he left clues for others to follow in his footsteps. The Vigil soldiers, wearing the distinctive Silverite armor that Master Wade crafted, came to be known as the Silver Order. Under the tutelage of the Wardens, the Silver Order developed into one of Ferelden's most revered military forces, a lasting memory of the Vigil's famous commander. What? With Velana and the Architect gone from the region, the Pilgrim's Path began to see traffic again. Oh, oh, gone from the Pilgrim's Path. The massacre of the militiamen and the merchants, however, led to hostilities between the neighboring human settlements and any Dalish clans that passed by. One human villager soon kidnapped and murdered a Dalish child, oh no. The clans reacted by giving the Wending Wood a wide berth, but both sides know that at some point, the elves will return for revenge. Yeah, the humans versus elves thing is not going to be solved that easily. A few years after Calharol was emptied of Darkspawn, Orzammar began sending expeditions to rediscover the knowledge of smithing that had been lost within the Taig. Eventually, House Helmy decided that Calharol was too important to be abandoned. At a tremendous cost of Doran lives, they cleared the tunnels leading to Calharol of all Darkspawn, making the road between Orzammar and the fortress safe again. Calharol was reclaimed for Orzammar once and for all. It sounds like these things are happening like really far into the future. Not immediately? Like, tell me about my people! Don't tell me about stuff like Calharol! Oh my god. As promised, Voldrick and Dorkin presented Orzammar Shaperit with a stone marker that told of how Calharol's castles had taken up arms against the Darkspawn. The commander of the Grey was invited to Orzammar as a guest of honor at a feast commemorating the defenders of Calharol. The Shaper read the names of the castles off the marker, then presided over a ceremony to return them to the stone as befitted warriors of their stature. Even by the end of the base game, we had someone talk about that, right? Turning the castless Legion of the Dead into um, something more. In time, the Arling began to forget the tales of apparitions in the Black Marsh, and ever so slowly, settlers drifted into the region. Scholars said the Vale was thin, and thus the area is still dangerous, but the people only cared that there were no longer frightened whispers in the shadows. The village was slowly rebuilt. Twice the Baroness's mansion was rebuilt and occupied, once by a wealthy merchant and another time by an Orlesian mage. Both died mysteriously. Afterwards, the mansion was torn down completely and the site left untouched. Yeah, like they're, they're giving consequences of stuff that if this game was longer, if the DLC was longer, it might be more meaningful to me. But as it stands, the Black Marsh is just an area that we've been to one time. So I'm like, okay, well, that's cool, but... I don't really... yeah. <laughs> <gasps> the survivors of the Siege at Vigil's Keep hailed Anders and his magic for holding back hundreds of the assaulting Darkspawn. In the ensuing victory celebration, the men dragged the mage to the fire to engage him in a drinking contest. Anders lost. So he's okay? He's okay? Anders remained with the Grey Wardens a few years longer, training the Order's next generation of mages. But when the Circle Tower called on him to deliver a lecture on the nature of the Architect, <laughs> Much of the Templars' dismay, 
Anders told the commander of the Grey that his time with the Wardens was over. Oh. He's leaving. He doesn't like being tied down. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna assume that whatever we saw in the Codex earlier wasn't right, and that this is the right one because I like this one better. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, maybe it's um clearly inconsistent, but I'm not sure what's... Well, when we were still playing in the gameplay, no one ever said everyone died, so I'm just gonna say this is the, the real thing here. But he left, even though he's tainted. He's a guy that doesn't like being tied down, I guess. I never imagined that anyone who joined the Grey Wardens could actually leave. I guess they could. Yeah, they can. It's just that it doesn't change that they have a limited lifespan and they can still sense the Darkspawn and all that. Oh. <laughs> and yet, not two months later, Anders returned to the Order. Ever after, the Wardens were his home and his lasting companions. Never mind. Velana never saw her clan again, but neither did she forsake her Dalish culture nor her sharp tongue, nor her quick temper. Her friendship with the Warden Commander changed her opinions of humankind significantly. Shortly after the Mother's defeat, Darkspawn stragglers who still remained on the surface attacked the human village. Vilana was the only Warden nearby and defended the village single-handedly. She did not sneer once. Mmm. Growth. Years later, on an expedition in the Deep Roads, Velana took off on her own after saying that she had seen Sarani in the shadows. The other warden searched for her, but she was truly gone. Yeah, we never got a resolution to her and her sister. Is the architect just left? Hmm, that's kind of... And she's leaving too. After spending a number of years with the wardens, Nathaniel realized that the life was not for him. He said goodbye to his sister, Delilah, and his new nephew, then left to seek his fortune. In time, the nephew became a Grey Warden himself, in emulation of Nathaniel, then rose to Warden Commander. Oh my god, he brought honor to the Hound name once again. Yeah, look at this, this epilogue is like, really really far into the future. It's talking about events after I die and all that stuff. Justice fought valiantly at the battle for Vigil's Keep, but before the victory horn sound, a darkspawn sword removed Kristoff's head. <gasps> It was, of course, unclear whether the Spirit of Justice perished or simply departed. At the least, Kristoff's wife, Aura, was finally able to claim her husband's ashes. Hmm, so Justice did die. But he wasn't gonna... He was occupying a corpse. It wasn't gonna last that long anyway. We just don't know what happened to him. Maybe he went back to the Fade. Or, who knows. With a mother dead, Sigrun seemed to lose her purpose. She withdrew from her friends in the Order, and spoke to them less and less each day. Oh no. One morning, Sigrun was simply absent, her bed made, and her trunk emptied. A young recruit, who had been up in the night, said she had left for her calling, gone to finish what she started in Calharol. Yeah, it's talking about the calling, that's like 30 years from now. At Vigil's Keep, Argren rallied a last-minute defense of the gate, taking on two ogres simultaneously to allow others time to regain the courtyard. He eventually passed out from blood loss, and when he awoke weeks later, nobody was more surprised than he to discover he had been credited as a hero. He's okay. Algren continued to regale young warden recruits with tales of his prowess in both battle and bed. His drinking games prompted at least one recruit to declare that she'd rather reattempt the joining than lift another mug. <laughs> wow. At the warden commander's urging, Algren took a more active role in his child's life. He visited Felsi often and wrote letters, which the Warden Commander graciously proofread nearly every week. Hmm. I kind of like that they didn't get back together. Yeah, because usually for this kind of situation in games, you would see, oh, you know, they get back together, they're happily ever after, but realistically, some people, some couples just don't work, but they have children, right? And then they try to make it work with the children in the equation. Even though Ogryn's not doing very much here, at least he's writing letters, which I feel like Felsi might be grateful for too. He might not be a great father if he's around in person, especially if he's drinking all the time, but... I don't know. Or maybe she'd rather cut ties with him entirely, I have no clue. As for the savior of Ferelden, she did not remain as the commander for the Grey for long. The Darkspawn were no longer a real concern, the blight well and truly over. It was time for her to move on. Some claim the commander reunited with a red-haired bard known as Liliana, 
and that they adventured together still. The pair were spotted together in Denarum a year after the Blight's end. No matter the truth, the commando never did return to Vigil's Keep. Interesting. Even though I'm a Grey Warden, even though I just made that whole spiel about how we're always Grey Warden for life, we left. We left our post. And that's it. Oh, I wonder if some of the later plot implications here, the whole drinking Grey Warden blood stuff will be brought up in the future. Are they setting up threads for the future, or is this going to be a one-off thing? Because definitely it felt like we were just beginning to get somewhere, and then it's over. Which is kind of how I feel about the whole DLC in general. It feels like... Mm, the level of revelation that we got at the end here is suitable for a game that's like maybe the full size of Dragon Age Origins, the base game itself, but the actual size of Awakening means that they didn't really necessarily have the time to develop it. Because it felt like the whole time we were just running around, and then at the very end here, suddenly, ooh, drinking Grey Warden blood. But then it ended right after, so I'm left wondering, well, you know, do we not want to talk more about this? No? Maybe in the next game. Maybe. The companions, too. Yeah. In the base game, we would work with a certain companion for a while, and then they would come up and be like, hey, Warden, can we do this thing to, you know, put my, put my worries to rest and all that? But here because the DLC is a lot shorter. I think I brought it up multiple times as I was playing too, but they would make me try to stand up for my companions right after I meet them, which I'll do it. But from like a natural progression of relationships point of view, it felt like I was doing it to do it, but not because I really felt like, okay, well, I know this person quite well now. So I feel like, yeah, I can stand up for them and I can say good things about them. Yeah, I think overall, I just wish they had more time and resources to make this expansion what they really wanted it to be, because it, it, well, frankly, it did feel like they were cutting corners here and there, especially stuff like, you know, bugs, or the millions of amaranthine fetch quests to pad out the playtime, but it doesn't really add too much to the story or the world building. I wish we had more time to learn about our companions. Of all the people I've met so far, Nate, especially his background, is quite interesting as a how. Valana, I would have loved to have more time with her and maybe get her. It sounds like by the end in the epilogue, she does turn over a new leaf, but we never got to see that progression of it happening. We recruited her, she hated humans, and then by the epilogue, she didn't hate humans anymore. So, yeah. Anders is someone that I feel like we... I would have liked to learn much more about him as well, but... um. He, he was more prominent in the beginning of the playthrough, but by the end there, because I had so many other new characters to work with, I didn't really get a chance to learn about him that much either. Bit of a shame, really, but I think overall, the, the skeletal structure of what's here is still, still quite nice, and I enjoyed playing it. Hopefully, Warden Commander Wellens can really just travel the world and settle down and chill out with Liliana or whatever now. No more saving the world. For now. Mm, the Architect, the dark spawn, all that's still gonna be a threat. This whole thing wasn't even a Blight, it was just like a random in-between event between Blights. Mm. But the Architect, the way he mentioned how he was just born this way, he doesn't know why, did give me a very strong impression that this world is much more mysterious than we know it to be. Like, it, we're at the point where I feel like I don't even know what I don't know about this world, so I'm looking forward to seeing more in the... We have two more story affecting DLCs, right? And then the upcoming Dragon Age games. So that'll be good to see. Hey, before we end off Awakening here, I mentioned before I wanted to look at a map of the whole Thetis, and I never got around to it, so just wanted to slot this in at the very end here. Ferelden. This is where most of our, or all of our stuff has been taking place. Yeah, Brazilian Forest and... Denerim is somewhere around here. So I guess Dragon Age Origins was mostly like in the southern area, relatively, to the entire Thetis. And then in the expansion, we moved a little bit further north into Amaranthine. But the world is actually crazy big. Ferelden. And then we have the Dales here. Frostback Mountains, Orzammar. Orlay. Or lay is to our west. 
This area is a little bit interesting though, because in Orle, apparently there is a plateau called the Urthemiel Plateau. Urthemiel was the, the archdemon that we defeated, right? Arl Dumat, the Sea of Ash, Sulphur Lakes. Are we going to get to visit all these places? Well, maybe not all of them, but hopefully some of them in the upcoming games, huh? Yeah, lots of, lots of archdemon related names around here. Must be the origin of some of that stuff. Maybe something big happened there in the previous blights. Oh, Cow Shall Rock. Ah, oh wow, that's really far then. Right, so the, the two dwarven tides that still stand today, Orzammar and then Cow Shall Rock. That's so far. I thought it was also in Ferelden, but not at all. Oh, here's Valroyo. Valroyo is the um, capital of Orle, right? Yeah. It's a port city. Lake Callanhead. Mm hmm. So, okay, the big overall picture Ferelden, Orle to the west, and then Ander Falls in the northwest. To Winter Imperium, kind of the center of the place. Below that, Navarra. Antiva to our directly above us. What about the Kunari? Kunari, was it like a, was it Ravain? Is that where they came from? Free marches? And then when a blight comes over, I think in our case, in our blight, it came from like the Korkari wild side around Ostagar. And then I guess relatively, these places are all safe for the time being, right? But if we didn't stop the blight, then it would have kept advancing forward. And that would have been a problem. Hmm. Antiva, Ravain. Yeah, Aisley, that's a name we've heard before. One of the cities. Wow, there's, there's a lot going on. Saharon, I don't think I've heard of this place before. Oh, Minrathus. To Winter Imperium at the very, very northern side. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I've heard of Saharon before. Maybe that's something that'll come up later on. The Weathered Pass. Hmm. Very cool. And apparently Theta stands for, what was it again? The Dragon Age setting. <laughs> very smart naming. If it works, it works. Okay. Wow, that was actually a pretty cool look. Oh, there's a Parvol in here as well. In the very corner. Okay. Oh, yeah, cool. Okay, well, when we come back, we will continue on with the rest of the Origins DLCs. See you soon.